Hey everybody, welcome back to This Sucks. All right guys, I wanted to give you a an update. Uh, it is now the afternoon of the same day that I had my biopsy. And I wanted to explain to you a little bit about what a biopsy is, what it is that I had to <laughs> endure. It wasn't too bad. Um, and I've talked about it a little bit in previous videos as well, but um, wanted to give you some specifics because this was actually new for me as well. And it was kind of cool in a way. So because my cancer is most likely now in my bone, um, they had to do things a little bit different. Generally a biopsy and the barest, you know, definition is you get a, a sample of what you need to test and you send it to the lab. And generally, you know, this can be pretty easy with like a tumor when I had it on my neck. Um, that's an easy spot. They were able to numb up my neck and they put a needle in and were able to take like a small piece of the tumor out. This one was more complicated because it's in the bone. Um, so you can imagine um, what exactly that meant. I thought I was gonna get to sleep through it. I did not. But they did get me all prepped. They, you know, had all of the monitors and everything to make sure that I was okay. They gave me an IV in my hand and they did give me some medicine to help me feel calmer. And then um, for this particular one where, um, where the radiologist who was doing the procedure, he looked at all of the scans and determined that for him and for me, the best location to do the biopsy it was a spot that is showing on my sacral spine, which is um, the spot, it's a, kind of like the top of your butt, essentially, and is gonna be on the left side, and it's right below your lower back and right above your tailbone. So if you've ever fallen and hit your tailbone, that hurts, right? It's that like kind of chunk of your body that's right there, right at the top of your butt, essentially. So that's what they were gonna do. So. We get in there, um, I lay down, and because this is actually a CAT scan guided biopsy, that was interesting. So I got to go in and for the first time uh, do a biopsy and do a CAT scan where I had to lay on my stomach on the CAT scan tray that goes in and out, which I've talked to you guys about before. And, um, you know, they I'm connected to all of these wires, I have oxygen, all of that kind of stuff. And, um, and they started by just doing another scan just to make sure everything still looks good and they had a really good spot. They ended up putting this um, like piece of paper with a grid on my back and they took the pictures. The radiologist came in, double checked everything and then they marked where on my body they were gonna be poking, okay? That's also always a very important part because you know, you don't wanna be poked more than once and they can't in this case because it's the bone. So the radiologist even said, he goes, this is a, a one and done thing. He goes, if we start to go in and we're in the wrong spot, I can't like change the direction or anything because this is the bone. So he had to make sure it was as accurate as possible. So go in, they do um, the different imaging. He takes a look at it, they mark the spot. And then um, they give me the medicine to make me feel nice and comfy and cozy. Um, <laughs> my doctor set his phone down and started playing like 80s rock music, which I found hilarious and it was awesome and uh, it definitely made me smile. Um, and then he gave me a local anesthetic, which is essentially where they give you, like if you have you know, a cavity and they give you a shot to numb. That's what they did, but they did on my, like my lower back. Um, and they did that. And he's like, you shouldn't feel anything after this. You're going to feel a little bit of a vibration because essentially what they did is once I was numb and that part stung, like if you guys have gotten a cavity filled, you know, the Novocaine shot hurts a little bit. Um, so that stung a little bit and then they went in and essentially, I, I don't know what the tool looked like. I didn't ask to see it. Um, but uh, essentially they, whatever it was, I'm picturing a drill in my head. Um, they went directly in and they drilled a tiny hole into the bone and took out a chunk of the bone. I know it's a circle because he told me it's a circle. Um, so now I'm picturing that I have this teeny tiny little 
the circle that's missing from my sacral spine. Um, you know, interesting story in the future. Um, so that's what they do. And they take that out and he's going to send it to the lab. And then hopefully in a week, we'll have some answers. Um, he did say that bones are tricky. And um, because it's kind of that one and done, he can't change locations. He can't guarantee. Um, sometimes we don't get the answers. And he said, if that happens, then they might have to call me back in and we might have to try this again. Not sure if that's what the plan will be, but I guess we'll find out. So hopefully by uh, the end of next week, fingers crossed, um, the results will at least be in and we'll be able to move forward with a treatment plan. Um, I do not anticipate, um, I mean, and I appreciate all of the positivity and, and all of that. Um, it is highly, highly unlikely that it's gonna come back and they're gonna say, it's nothing, um, it's cancer. Um, my oncologist is pretty positive about that. There's, uh, there's not a whole lot of other things it could be at all. Uh, so that's what I'm preparing for. I'm already prepared for that news. I know I'm still probably going to cry because, you know, there's always that small bit of hope. Um, but what I'm really waiting for is that ability to sit down with him and say, what do we do now? So hopefully very, very soon, I will know what that answer is and I'll be able to share it with you guys and we'll be able to move forward and, um, and just kind of have a, a better idea about what life is going to be like as we move on. All right, there's my update. Um, I feel fine, by the way. Um, I maybe it's that I'm still a little bit a little bit numb down here, but honestly, I'm, I'm not really even hurting at all, despite the fact that you just you know drilled a hole in my bone. Um, I have a feeling I'll probably have some little like twinges and stuff, uh, just like if you were to get a shot, you're kind of sore. I'm sure that's gonna uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna feel that soon. But um, but other than that, I feel fine, guys. And again, I appreciate you guys. Uh, and I will see you very soon. Again, we're uh, heading to the beach. Pog Dad's already there with the kids and I'll be joining him this afternoon. I can't drive today, so I get to go in with uh, Pog Grandma and Pog Grandpa. Um, so they're gonna drive me, which is awesome. But we will see you guys. We are gonna try and stream, so keep that in mind. Mm, pardon me. And um, yeah, again, thank you guys so much. Stay positive, be kind, right? And um, and let's let's just keep moving on and have, and have a good day and have a good weekend. All right, guys. I'll see you later.